We understand an upside-down world. But they're writing us off before we get to the starting line. A stalled generation? Who do you think is gonna fix all this? We will. Because our future is the future. So we're going to build bridges and hospitals in a day. And feed those left in the cold. We're going to do all this and more because we have an appointment with destiny. Hey, sports fans. Welcome back to another episode of uh, Aaron uh, makes Wizard of Oz references that come back to bite him uh, when he calls teams a lollipop guild. I'm Christian Pedersen. That's that. That, that I don't know how I'm going to edit this, but maybe next to me is Aaron Bergen. Full-time hoops one, the cream of the county operator, the man who's teaming up with Michael Flix to take down all of the establishment of the basketball norms on the West Coast. Aaron and I have got a breakdown of all of the divisions. Yep. Before we get there, I want to thank our sponsors, the California Army National Guard. Thank you for everything they do for supporting San Diego Prep Insider. Check out everything they are up to. Aaron, my goodness. Um, let's just start with the D5 bracket because mm -hmm. this one included a pretty decent sized upset when number eight classical Academy took down number one rock Academy for um, sure. Del Lago, a team that I think we both described as uh sneakily vanilla and, and um, kind of non and do good and do for one. And look at that, man, uh, Del Lago out here, mopping the floor with teams. Santana hits a huge game winner to advance Valley center. Your sort of odds on favorite. I, I would assume extra. So now uh, those are the four teams that have made it into the semifinals. That first game classical and Del Lago. Let's talk about it. it classical. I think is the one that's riding the hot hand right now. Um, they definitely the, are the big game, but Del Lago has been scoring more than classical in the postseason. What do you like here in this matchup? You know, one of the things I like about um, one of the things I'm going to like about this matchup is it's a it's part three. Um, it's the third time those teams have played. Uh, they split in league play and now they get a chance to it's the rubber match. I like the momentum that classical has coming into this game. Uh, that's one thing I really like. Uh, they weren't on my radar to start the season. To be honest with you, I think I had several. Uh, teams picked ahead of them in their own league, and all they did was finish second place, beat uh, the Rock Academy twice in the last week, once in a game that doesn't count in the record books, but gave them the ch the tournament championship and then beat them again in the playoffs when it did count. So I like I like their trajectory right now. Um, and I picked Rock Academy to beat DeLago in the semi, so I'm going to pick classical in this one. Getting used um, to some of that transitive property math. Um, yeah. That we all swore. If A, if A equals never. B and B equals C, A equals C, yes. If A equals B and B equals C, then Brody Chapman equals freshman of the year? Are we talking about a breakout freshman or is he just a guy that hits big shots? Um, now he, in the hits, he hits big shots. I think he's one of a group of very talented. You know, we – don't really get to talk about like generalities uh on the show because we're you know we drill down to the specifics and games but this 2026 freshman class has been more productive than any class in recent memory i mean you've got stars really feel like they're getting more moments i'm not they I'm sorry are. cutting you off no more moments uh you know you've got guys like Jaden gray who are leading teams to division three you know in division three to the you know semifinals You've got Ty Ingram playing a huge support role on an open division team. And then littered up and down rosters, you've got freshmen who are making an impact, whether off the bench, whether starting. I mean, there are so many really good ninth graders this year. And Brody's one of them. Um, you know, and he's a guy who's emerged on the radar later in the season as classical has picked up steam. And he has picked up confidence. But, yeah, we, we will perhaps – Post season, when we do a, a recap, sort of post mortem on how how this went, you're right. We might see per capita more freshmen that class of 26 really contributing in a way that we have not seen in other recent freshman classes. Um, I think back to the current seniors of Jurian and and that class. There was only a, maybe three or four that we were really like talking about that freshman year. I know Mikey Williams kind of overshadowed it, but there wasn't also like Mikey was seen as like oh he's one of a whole generation that's moving into like take over the town and right now yeah like 
dare I say we could be kind of good at basketball as a section for the next couple of years? I don't know. I dare not say. Other game, Santana and Valley Center. Santana hits a huge shot down the stretch in the closing minutes uh, with another, I believe the kid that hit that one was also a freshman or, or a sophomore. Um, He's a junior. Junior? Okay, I was way Yeah, off. Jeffrey Van O. Yeah. Um, it's hard keeping all these numbers straight as I'm trying to filibuster here. But big shot from Jeffrey Van O for Santana. Valley Center continues to uh, look good and look in control. Are you sticking with Valley Center at this point, or are you scrubbing uh, your bets and uh, going Santana? No, I am. I'm, I'm going to pick Valley Center in this one. Uh, they got a home game, meaning Santana has to travel to Valley Center. They've played twice before. Again, a weird type of split. Both teams blew each other out at different stages of the season. I think Santana beat Valley Center by 18 points, uh, the third game of the season for the Jaguars. The Jaguars came back down to Santana to return the favor in the Santana tournament, beating them by 18. And now Santana has to travel up to Valley Center. Um, I don't see a reason why I should jump off of the Jaguars train right now. I think Bigfoot's doing a great job up there. And he's got guys like Kevin Garcia who have been contributing in a big way. And I think the the reemergence of Carson Yoder as, you know, a 20 point per game score over the and last Yoder, five Yoder games was going to be the, the one that I was going to say that feels like now they have that second piece behind Garcia and at the D five level, if you have two identifiable pieces that you can use, that's a always a winning combination, let alone two pieces that are you know both performing well in the playoffs as they have been the last couple of weeks. So yeah. I will agree with you. I will say uh, the, the Jaguars continue on for, I'm going to go with the classical Academy Valley center final in this one. Um, we will be like that. before the finals. So you're not going to get any previews from us on that 